going to be reading Matthew chapter 8, verse 23 to 20, through 26. Now when he got into a boat, his disciples followed him. And suddenly a great tempest arose on the sea, so that the boat was covered with the waves. But he was asleep. Then his disciples came to him and awoke him, saying, Lord, save us, we are perishing. But he said to them, Why are you so fearful, O you of little faith? Then he arose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. When the storm arose on the sea, the disciples were scared. They woke Jesus, and Jesus was not very happy. It's almost like the disciples forgot who was on the boat with them. We are also Jesus' disciples, and that boat is our heart. If we forget that Jesus is in our boat or in our heart, we will be afraid of life's storms and the struggles that the storms bring. A lot of us today forget who is in our boat, especially when we are having a hard day and we just want to shut the world out. But you can't shut Jesus out because Jesus is always in our boats. And you can't forget that. There was a time a little over a year ago, we had someone in my family pass away. I was upset. I was sad. But everyone was. And I didn't know what to do. I had forgot Jesus was in my boat, and I thought I had tried everything to cheer up, but I couldn't. Then I remembered my boat, and I suddenly knew to cheer up. I needed to remember Jesus. I knew to understand that my Uncle Jeff was right there in, the, in my boat with Jesus, and I was happy because I knew he was happy. We talked about this story, the story of the calming of the sea, at, of the calming of the storm at camp, and that's what inspired me to talk about this today. At Kent, we learned so much about Jesus and, the, and the, our connection with God. And the counselors were wonderful. They taught us so much. In my group of kids, we told this story when it was our turn to do the sermon. Now, there has been a time in your life where you were told to be still or to be silent, and you might not have listened to a teacher or a friend or even a family member. But Jesus can make even a storm listen to him, and that's amazing. Jesus had been preaching and performing miracles all day, but the disciples hadn't seen him do anything like what he did on the boat, and they were amazed. Today, Jesus or God still do miracles, and a lot of the time, we won't take the time to stop and be amazed or even notice. But we should, because Jesus is always in your boat, performing miracles and protecting you from life storms. We need to take the time to stop and thank God for the miracles he performs for us. And sometimes the excuse is, I don't know how. But all you have to do is send up a little prayer before you go to sleep or when you are are waking up in the morning that thanks God for the miracles and being in our boats because life is a journey and God is our map. He is also the shepherd. He is our everything. Let us pray. Dear Lord, thank you for being on our boats, for protecting us from our storms. Without you, we would be nothing but just people on a map. Thank you for everything that you do for us, and pre- thank you for letting us have a beautiful day. We can come to church, and for all of us children being able to be here today, and thank you for letting us have a congregation for this church. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen.